Hey y'all, I'm Elisa, the scrappy wife behind scrappywife.com, and I'm just asking you to hear me out on this unpopular opinion that I have about a specific storage unit that you can find at Ikea. It's one of the most popular storage units for craft rooms that Ikea sells. I've seen it in a number of craft rooms, but I just don't think it functions really well. I think a lot of times it's misused. And so I want to bring you along and show you why I think the Calyx unit is not the storage you need for your craft room. Obviously, I'm a huge fan of Ikea and Ikea storage, and I think the Calyx unit can be really functional, but I think a lot of the times it is misused in a craft room. And so I want to present to you my arguments for why Calyx units are not ideal for your craft space, and then show you a few other options of things that I think would be um, a better choice to use in your craft room that are just more functional in the long run. So I hope you'll share your opinions with me down below. I realize that I'm probably in the minority. I've talked to a ton of people who have Calyx units in their craft rooms and who love them. So let me know below what unit do you have from Ikea or from any other storage place that is working really well for you? Do you love your Calyx unit? Leave me some comments down below, but otherwise let's go check out this storage piece that I am just not a big fan of. First, let's talk about the biggest pro of the Calyx unit, and that would be the price. It is very affordable. It comes in many different configurations, but I happen to think these particular bins are like a black hole. It is so hard to keep things organized with the size of these cubes. The storage cubes that fit in these Calyx units are enormous and many times people throw things in the bins and then lose them because they're just jumbled in a huge bin. Lots of times in our craft room we have smaller supplies that are just not organized well within these larger bins. You would have to buy additional storage to go in them to make it really functional. I do realize that there are some other options. You can buy bins from other companies, you can buy inserts from other companies, but really that's making you look outside of Ikea for what you're looking for. And I think these are just not adjustable enough for what I would prefer for a craft room. I like it when you can make a piece of furniture work for you by adjusting the shelves and really finding ways to organize that work for you. And this one feels like it's trying to make a one size fits all, fits all situation that's just not going to work. Because the shelves are not adjustable, a lot of times you end up with wasted space. This particular drawer insert is not a great use of space because it takes up so much room and the drawer is actually really small. So you're losing a lot of storage. Sometimes people buy smaller boxes to go in it, but then you're losing some of the vertical space in the shelf. And so I want to show you some other options that might be more adaptable to your needs. First off, let's talk about the Billy bookcases just as affordable as the Calyx unit, but you're gonna be able to take advantage of the full height of your room. All of the shelves are adjustable. So you will be able to figure out how high you need shelves. You can easily add additional shelves that you pick up at Ikea. They are fabulous in your craft space. The biggest argument against Billy bookcases are that they are not 12 inches deep, but there are other bookcases at Ikea, for instance, this one, that are 12 inches deep and will hold your 12 inch paper really nicely, plus the shelves are still adjustable and it's a beautiful looking furniture piece. If you are not a big fan of some of the bookshelf units, you want something with closed storage, there are some great cabinets that are also deep enough for your storage needs. These will hold 12 by 12 paper perfectly and you can close the door and have your things neatly organized. Once again, the shelves are adjustable, that is key. The closest piece that I found to a Calyx unit is this one. It has kind of the same cubed look, but the shelving is slightly adjustable, which I like. I love that it's a little bit asymmetrical in that you have different size openings. I just think that this gives you more function in the spaces that you're working on. 
I happen to really love this particular line because it has all of these glass doors. Yes, it's a little bit more expensive, but your supplies are gonna be protected. There's plenty of room and there are drawers at the bottom that are making good use of the space given to the drawer. It's not taking up extra room in the cabinet um, and causing you to lose some of that space that you paid for. If you really like that cubed look, you can always check out the Besta units. They, again, have that same cube feel, but you can buy all kinds of shelves. You can see where the holes are. There are lots of shelves that can go in here that you can customize and really make work for your craft space. They are just as deep as a Calyx unit, if not a little bit deeper. So you have some more options on how to put it together. Flexibility is key in your craft space. Having things that can function as your creativity evolves, I think that is so important. The last piece of furniture that I found that I thought would work really well were some slimmer cabinets. This style I thought was really nice because they were pretty slim in that they um, didn't take up much room width wise while the shelves were not deep enough for paper, the bottom cabinet definitely would be and would fit in almost any craft space. And of course, you'll see here in a minute that I am going to check out the Alex drawers as well, which are super functional for a craft room because they are so shallow. They fit a variety of supplies. So many craft supplies are small. You don't want to just buy huge bins because within those bins, your supplies are going to get lost and you're not going to get to use them um, to really enhance your creativity because you're going to spend a lot of time digging through those bins. All right, take a minute. Give me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Do you love the Calyx units? Do you hate the Calyx units? What units work for you? What do you think about my idea of having furniture that can be flexible in your craft room? I think it's just super, super important. I wanna give a huge shout out to all of my Patreon members. We just went over all of this in our craft room organization month and had a fabulous time. If you wanna join us over on Patreon, there's lots of great things happening over there. Make sure to check out the link in the description box below. All right, I hope that you have a fabulous day. And as always, keep it creative. <laughs>